Hello, goddess, and welcome to this week's Thankful to Thrive Thursday. Twin Flame Goddess Rising Empowerment Message. That is definitely, wow, that feels so aligned. It feels so good. I know it's a mouthful, yet really, truly, it, it is the all and everything that are these messages, you know, that Twin Flame Goddess Rising Empowerment Message. It's all that is this Twin Flame Self-Love Empowerment Journey. And for those who may be new to my channel, my name is Rochelle Richard, and I am the founder, CEO, and self-love empowerment coach here at Empowerment Experiences, which began having nothing to do with twin flames. In fact, when Empowerment Experiences began, I didn't even believe in the concept of twin flames. And it was a little bit into my coaching journey that my twin flame came into my life. And I have followed and been led down this incredible journey to bring me where I am now in this space of my twin flame mission, not just my soul purpose and my soul mission, but my twin flame mission as well. And that is to guide twin flame goddesses into and through finding their power all along this, which is the twin flame journey. Because here's the reality, goddess. A twin flame journey is very much a self-love empowerment journey on steroids. And that's coming from someone who knows the all of it very well. Self-love empowerment first and then twin flame second. And very much that distinguishment between the two as well as the merging of the two. Good times right we are on a many layered and multifaceted journey because that is what we are many layered and multifaceted and we are here looking for and finding our power all along this which is again our self-love empowerment journey and a twin flame journey like i've said is a self-love empowerment journey on steroids and we can be so grateful so truly truly grateful that we are in this aware state, this awakening state of being able to recognize that we each get to choose how we show up in our experience. We each get to allow for ourselves to be led, be guided to the place and space wherein we desire to be, that space where our soul is calling us to. But you just got to take the path to get there. There's a certain way to get there that the universe has to guide you through. You have to go through certain challenges and experience a certain amount of growth so that you can reach that space and place in your desired manifestation in that vision that you have goddess. And that's where we are for this thankful to thrive Thursday is really being grateful that you've reached this new goddess space wherein you are more surrendering, more trusting to the journey. It doesn't have to make sense. Uh, in fact, the more it doesn't make sense in regards to what you're being called to step into and, and move forward with and experience the more it doesn't make sense, the more you know you're right on track. Just so take delight in that. That's what this gratitude, this Thankful to Thrive Thursday is about. Every week, this Thankful to Thrive Thursday experience is that reminder to count our blessings, to focus on all the things for which we can be grateful, all the amazing that really is happening in our lives, regardless of the things that may maybe feel like they're falling apart. It's because we are being called to practice that pivot right? What are we giving our attention to? What are we focusing on? Are we focusing on things that are falling apart? Or are we celebrating that, oh, we are in a better position than we've ever been for things to fall apart. So I suppose if things are going to fall apart, now's as good a time as any for things to fall apart. Oh, goody, let's celebrate that, right? There's sarcasm, but at the same time, I'm serious for real. Because when you raise your vibration, when you again, anchor into your blessings and that point of attraction, you set that for your point of attraction, that's your vibration, then guess what? The experience that you're having through these challenges, you're still going to be attracting incredible experiences, feel good experiences, regardless of the challenges that you may be facing and going and growing through right now. 
that's where your power lies is in you and what you're giving your attention to how you are loving yourself that's what this card represents in this deck for me is this is the self-love card because true love begins within it begins with you true love begins within from where it expands outward to envelop encompass and embrace those around us you're here to anchor the light and amplify the love. And that means that that love must begin inside you, right? So take delight in how far you've come. Take delight in you. Count your blessings for how amazing you are, how much you've come through. That's what this Thankful to Thrive Thursday is really focused on today, goddess, is really just anchoring into the moment and being grateful, really amplifying the blessings that abound in your life. And in fact, there are two days devoted to gratitude and anchoring these blessings in my 17-day self-love empowerment challenge, which comes with, it's in union, shall we say, I, I merged the two together because they were so perfectly aligned with that. And that's my twin flame confirmation checklist with 17 days self-love empowerment challenge, because I assure you, goddess, if you're looking for confirmation that this is your twin flame, then yes, indeed, you definitely are going to be, if not already, looking for all the rest that's coming in those emails, I assure you. So have patience with where you are. All right. And one of, again, the ways that you can further cultivate this patience and anchor into it is by focusing on your blessings, focusing on how in your journey, you know that you can see all these times when it seemed like life was falling apart and all of these experiences were unfolding, yet you're sitting there dumbfounded because, but I'm in this good place. Why are all these bad things happening all of a sudden? It's because those things that you've been holding on to and attempting to bring into this new version of self, this new life, they're not they're not aligned. And so they're going to create, they're going to wreak havoc until you release them. Okay. So have patience as you adapt to this new space. And again, one of these ways, the big ways of cultivating that patience is to just focus on your abundance, focus on your blessings, focus on the limitless possibilities that abound right now because it is in the unknown. Remember, only in the unknown can miracles and magic happen because the known cannot exist in the unknown. Right? And I assure you, goddess, in the realm of possibility, all things are possible. Okay? It's only you who limits that possibility by believing the nonsense in your mind that tells you you can't have it, that tells you you need to focus on all the things going wrong rather than focusing on all the things that are going right, all the abundance again that abounds in your life, celebrating how far you've come, celebrating all you've endured, celebrating that you're in a better place than you've been in a long time, really acknowledging for yourself celebrating yourself because that is one of the greatest acts of self-love is to truly celebrate yourself, to truly genuinely, authentically express gratitude and appreciation for yourself, for the patience that you've cultivated, for all this healing that you have, you have come through and overcome so that you can be anchoring the light and amplifying the love. And with that, with that, in what ways, right? I just caught 902, 902 right there, angel number. In what ways are we being asked to further anchor the light and amplify this, this love from within ourselves is to find your brave, to feel your courage. That is the message from angel number 902. Find your brave, feel your courage, take your time. It's all divine. Be here now, right? Have patience. Have patience with your journey, with yourself, with the unfolding of what is happening right now again these challenges that are coming up in this new space where you find yourself this new version of self you're here to make the world a better place there's no such thing as mistakes only lessons on the way to success you came here with a purpose on purpose you are braver than you believe goddess that is the number for or that is the message for angel number 902 which again just Listen to you. Listen to you. 
trust yourself, right? Further trusting of yourself <coughs> and that inner knowing. Trust your intuition, all right? Find your brave to move forward and further align your life. Again, that's like I've said is what's happening right now is you're in this new space. So things that you have attempted to bring with you into this new space, they're falling away, sister. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Boom. Really, <laughs> really megaphoning that one for you. They're falling away and you've got to let them fall away. You really have to trust that inner, inner voice that's telling you to let it go. Let it go. Surrender to the unfolding. You you don't need to know all the steps unfolding right now. And you won't get to know all the steps unfolding right now. All these major changes happening here as you, again, further expand and step into this new version of self where you find yourself, right? So in order to really further this self-love, this tuning into yourself is what's being called, right? Really tapping into you. What is truly no longer aligned with you in this new space? And in order to clarify that again, remember we've been in this whole space of refining clarity. Like we're at that more finite layer of refinement where we are in terms of nope, Definitely not that anymore. I'm ready to let it go. I'm truly ready to be done, right? Trust that you are being supported in this, that you do have helpers around you assisting you with this uh, final release, this letting go of with where you are on this journey in this new space where you are finding yourself right now. Wow. Wow. And with that, for the Divine Feminine, that's why we are just, oh my goodness, yeah. So, aligning your life, taking delight in what is working, that's the other thing, is setting that point of attraction. You know, again, celebrating what is working because that's what really truly aligns your life with more of that. That's where we are trusting that the things that you don't have answers for, or you don't yet have a solution. You don't know what's next. It's all divine orchestration. You do have helpers that are working behind the scenes right now. Helpers that include your divine masculine who definitely is going to have something to say today, I feel, because, you know, he's swirling around in that chaos, remember? It's been excruciating for him, and if he's caught any glimpse, which he has, remember, recently caught glimpses of his Divine Feminine, and her light is so bright right now that he just could not, he couldn't, he couldn't see her. He couldn't bear to look at her because... It was just so bright. It was blinding to him. So he's having to trust in trust him, learn this trust, to trust himself, to cultivate this trust just as you have been, because he is in a space where he is free falling, where he cannot feel where he's going. He can't get his bearings straight. He has no idea what's up, what's down, what's inside out. But just as you have had to go through this, so must he. Right? This is how we cultivate that trust in ourselves, just as we were just discussing in Twin Flame Tuesday. Right? So here's the divine masculine going through the very trial by fire, continuing that trial by fire, just as the divine feminine has had to. Right? That's what brings these new beginnings, is having to find that courage, that courage to walk into the fire, to trust, courage to trust that where you're being led is bringing these new beginnings that you have so longed for, that you so deeply desire. But again, where this divine masculine is, it's that renewal space. He's been, he's in this, been in this activation, this renewal space, this, this cleansing, this chaotic space of, of clearing out the old, this whole renewal to bring these new beginnings in, truly new beginnings, not they, not the 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 half-assed new beginning that was this whole little pop in and pop out kind of thing that he recently did. No, 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 no. 
But a lot of that was just making sure that he could trust that you're still there. That you're still there. You may have told him to, well, not exactly, but to fuck off in the sense of saying, look, dude, I can't help you. You need to help yourself. You need to step into your power. You need to reclaim your power. You need to step up and, and be done with all of this karma. And then, uh, then come to me. Then we can have that true new beginning, but you have to find your brave. Again, look, find your brave, just like the divine feminine. This is this 902, right? Find your brave, feel your courage. The divine masculine is mirroring this right now with where he is as compared to where the divine feminine is in her journey. Okay, so now it is that. <sighs> the finding the courage. Let's, ooh, I'm actually feeling, so we have 902. I'm feeling a animal messenger. Let's mix it up here. I'm feeling like definitely a little something different. And what's intriguing is all that yellow. Look at all that, the bright, the light, right? Again, it was, there's so much brightness that he has seen in you, goddess, that he, you know, he's finding his way. He's finding his way in that darkness. So we have a cat, cat messenger. Let me see, first and foremost, do I have, Oops. no, I don't. I don't have my little square made for that. So let's look up cat spiritual meaning, not car, cat. Okay, and we have with that, Independence, self-love, sensuality, freedom, patience, observation, and curiosity. What is going on here? We have, oh, something there on my little thing. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, sensuality, freedom, patient, patient observation, and curiosity, right? Patience in the sense of allowing yourself to observe the knowing within yourself that in the realm of possibility, all things are possible and very much is where we are in this space. Let's see here. Yeah. Ah. We must ensure that we are the kings and queens of our own existence. Mm -hmm. Magical, spontaneous. Magic. Cat energy is magical energy. That's fun. Let's see here. That's about, um, but definitely that self-love that is, that's so awesome. But magic, independence, self-confidence. Yeah. They're definite protectors, keeping evil forces at bay as well. Assisting with you know, energies that are of lower frequencies, lower vibrations, because of the affection and the support, the love that they offer us. So definitely that cat energy we have right now, that self love is so being amplified, appreciating yourself, loving yourself, acknowledging yourself, celebrating yourself, really allowing yourself to be this new version of you by celebrating how far you've come and this stepping into this new you, really tuning into who you are now and allowing yourself to be who you are now, regardless of what anybody else says or thinks. I know that's definitely been something coming up lately just because we are in this new space and people are going to talk. They're going to be like, wait a minute, she a little different. 
than what she used to be. What's going on? Well, as long as the change is creating the result that you desire, the outcome that you are wanting to experience, then you keep going. And if someone doesn't like the change, well, you, again, that refined clarity, really getting clear on what do they want from you or for you in your life? What are What is your relationship with or like with that individual? Really, again, getting clear on who you are now versus who you were then and being willing to let go of that which belongs to who you were then so you can create space to receive that which belongs with who you are now. Again, that which is aligned with who you are now. This is why, like I've said, all of these things are being, you know, amplified. Thus the cat energy, right? To be loving yourself more. And of course, that protector, that protection from the, the underworld, shall we say. And um, oof, just totally poof, right? Self-love, self-love, self-love. Aligning your life. With this new version of self, loving yourself more than enough. That no matter what the cost, it's worth it to you, for you, to step into and receive and therefore live the life that you desire. Wow. Find your brave, find your courage, goddess. With that, that is today's Twin Flame, Goddess Rising, Empowerment Message. I would love to hear what resonated with you, where you are in your journey. If you have any questions for any of my, you know, Chai Time with Rochelle uh, series that's coming, there's, you know, more episodes to be created, more questions to address, more. There's, there's so much to this many layered and multifaceted experience that is each our own self. Regardless, no matter what, I assure you that the power to create the change you desire, the power to really truly love yourself and align your life with this new version of you and step out of and away from what is no longer you, so you can step into and receive what is. That power, that power is in your hands, goddess. Because that power, it has always been inside you. Namaste.